Hi guys, welcome to my channel and for today's video, I'm going to teach you the basics of Adobe Photoshop 2019. So we are going to create a new project and let's just um, simply select uh, the custom and then let's click create. So we are just going to um, do the, uh, the Photoshop learning uh, tutorial. So let's start the Photoshop tour. Alright, so it says, Welcome to Photoshop. We are excited that you're here in this uh, tour. We'll show you around the app and help you explore the power of Photoshop. So let's click next. So a, a Photoshop document is made of layers. Each layer is stacked on top of each other to form the final image and, and each layer can be edited separately. In the layers panel, click the eye icon beside the layer called room so let's click this so after we clicked it um, so the room uh, photo stopped showing right so if we click it back it will show um, the uh, the room again we just made a layer with the room invisible click the next in the learn panel to continue so moving layers independently, each layer contains part of the image. You can move each layer separately by clicking and dragging it. Click drag, click plus drag the astronaut to move her around the screen. Click and drag the astronaut. Wow, so we can click and drag the astronaut. That's awesome. Try moving other layers around when you're ready. Click next. So, can we select other layers or uh, oh the other layer sorry so control T yeah. so Jupiter how about the Jupiter so I'm pressing control plus T button para lumabas yung or maklik mo yung selected mo na layer so ito yung sinasabi niya na layers so ito yung pinaka background and yung background Papalabas na natin yung background. Tapos, ito yung layers. Or, um, ito, lahat to. Layer to. Yan, layer, layer, layer. So, magkakaiba silang layer. So, if you will, um, unclick the eye uh, button, of course, uh, mawawala sila. Hindi mo sila makikita. So, yung, if nakikita nyo, uh, I, uh, I unclick the, no, the eye button. So, nawala yung spaceship. So try move on and sabi niya, try moving other layers around. When you're ready, click next. Click galaxy so we can edit it. So click natin yung galaxy and then lower the opacity to around 24 25%. So opacity ito niyan. So makikita natin na buma nag-iiba, 'di ba? So nawawala siya ng konti so that's the opacity notice that the galaxy is now faded out click next to continue so yeah let's move let's move it to 25% pwede nyo siyang i-type actually so let's just click next so number 5 is uh, change the look of individual layers you can also use image adjustment to change the look of an individual layer Click Jupiter from the layers panel so you can edit it. Click natin yung Jupiter. In the main menu, go to image, adjustment, U or saturation. So ito yung image. And then click natin yung image, 
Ah, yes. Ano ba yun? Adjustment pala. Sorry. Adjustment. And then, U or saturation. Tapos, ngayon, sabi dito, adjust the U slider to change the color of the Jupiter layer. So, we'll just have to... Ayan. So, kung nakikita nyo, nag-iiba yung kulay ng Jupiter. So, depende na lang yan kung ano ang gusto nyong kulay. So, um... Kung ano yung may kita nyo na realistic na color, you can google it kung ano ba talaga yung kulay ng Jupiter. But you can adjust it to any color or hue that you want. So, um, siguro, uh, uh, ganyan na lang. And then, let's click OK. And then, let's click Next. So, sabi sa number 6, make the room visible again. For the last few steps, we're going to make the room visible again. So, kiklik natin yung, yung, ano, yung layer niya. Ito yung layer ng room. Tapos, i-on natin yung, yung tawag dito. I-on natin yung, ay, kiklik natin yung eye button. Para makita ulit yung room. Tapos, click natin yung next. Sabi dito, make edits in a layer with tools. You can quickly remove items from a layer with the spot healing brush tool. So, in the layers panel, ayan, select the room layer so we can edit it. Select natin yung room. In the left toolbar, select the spot healing brush tool. So, healing brush tool. Pen tool. Healing brush. Wait lang ha. Na-select na, diba? Ayan. Tapos, select the healing brush tool. And then, after that, sabi, uh, the brush size adjust, adjusts how much of an area you can change at a time. Set the brush size to around 50 pixels, then press enter. So, we are going to adjust the size yun ng, ng brush. So, para ma-change natin yun, pupunta tayo dito. And ang sabi, adjust daw to 50. So, pwede natin siyang simply i-type dito or pwede nyo siya actually i-drag kung paano siya kung gaano kalaki nyo gusto pero para mas mabilis dito na lang 50 tapos click daw ang enter <laughs> click plus drag over each of the stars on the ceiling ayan so, select lang natin yung mga stars. Wait lang. Ayan. Ayan. Kliin natin silang lahat. Okay. Tapos na. Then, click next. Sabi sa number 8, add your own photo are optional. Ito yung resign and it comes it on its own layer. So, you can also use file and then place file and then place embedded. Ayan. Drag and drop an image from your computer into your document, resize and, and move it to your liking. You can use the control T to resize any layer. Press next to finish. So, pwede tayo mag-select ngayon ng picture. Kung anong picture ba pwede natin gamitin. Um, let's see what image can we use. Drag and drop. Okay, oh, ito na yan. Control T. And then, you can just simply resize. And then, click next. Click next. Okay. So, ano na lang natin siya? Great job. That's 
ju- that's just a taste of some of the amazing things you can do in Photoshop. Feel free to explore on your own to continue with more tutorials below. Okay, so let's do the next tutorial naman. Um, yes, let's save it. Um, wait lang. Adobe Photoshop. Training 1. Alright. So, dito naman, work with layers daw. Use layers to design a collage of multiple images. Click the eye icon in the layers to hide the layer. So, ayun nga, katulad ng napag-aralan natin kanina. So, kapag um, sinelect mo siya, yung layers, katulad nito, may kita mo yung uh, kung ano yung laman ng layer. Pero kapag tinanggal mo, yung ano, yung kapag inan-click mo, yung eye, Ibig sabihin, hindi na siya makikita. So, basahin mo na natin to Hide and show layers. When you're working with multiple images, each image can have has can have has its own layer. Layers are stacked up on top of each other to create a single image. Try turning layer eye icons off and on to see which layers contains which image. So, click the eye icon to hide layer 2. So, hide natin siya. And then, click the eye icon again to show the layer 2. So, ayun. And then change the order of the layers in the layers panel to change the order of the layer uh, in the collage uh, in the pa- in the layers panel click bus drag dr- layer 2 down so that it will change layer 1 then so ganyan lang naman so ganun lang siya kadali So it's on uh, in the layers panel click Plus drag so that it is under layer one. Oh, nga, tapos nga. So click next. Ay, bakit hindi pa? Hindi pa tapos na. The layer panel, anin? Matawala. The layer panel is determined. Uh, determines the order of what on top and what is on the bottom. Layer two, the wood block is now below. Uh, layer 1, the sketch, click next. Alright. So, add an image tayo ngayon. In the image menu, go to file, place embedded. Uh, to add an image from your computer onto the canvas. Um, if your image is too big, click, uh, plus drag, a corner inward, press enter, and when done. So, let's uh, file. Place embedded. So, Let's try this one. Ayan. Okay. There is now a new uh, layer created for the image. Click next. Okay. Click layer 1 to resize it. Layer 1. Wait now. Layer 1. Control T. Resize. So, ni-resize ko na ka siya kanina. So, okay na dapat yun. Select layer 1 to continue. Ah, layer 1 wala. Sorry. Control T natin ngayon. Tapos, i-resize natin siya. Sorry. Training 1 yung napindod ko na layer kanina. And then, hit enter. Now, try to resize and move the different layers to create a collage. Click next when you're done. So, i-resize daw natin yung ibang layer naman. So, yung... Ganun lang naman yun. Kapag pinili mo yung layer, guys. Kunyari, pinili mo yung layer 1. Pipindutin mo ngayon, control plus T. Para ma-resize mo siya. Kapag pinili mo naman yung layer, uh, yung training 1 na layer, control T ulit para mapili siya. Tapos, you can just simply and adjust lang. Ganun lang naman siya. So, click natin yung next. Excellent job. There is no limit to the number of images you can work with now. Alright, next tutorial. Ito naman. Select part of an image. When you want to change part of an image, select that area first 
the quick selection tool is one of the simplest of the many selection tools you can use so make a quick selection so ano ba yung magandang piliin natin dito guys so around the sky daw So, hindi ko siya nagustuhan. Control Z daw natin. Ayan. So, napili natin yung sky ngayon. Malinis yung pagkakaselect natin. So, kiklik natin ang next. So, sabi dito, make a change to the selected area. In the main menu, go to image. Go to image. And then, Adjustment, Brightness, Contrast. To make the sky darker, adjust brightness around negative 30. So, negative 30, pwedeng, ano, pwedeng you can drag. Or, you can just simply type here. Ayan. Ay, negative pala. Negative 30. Ayan. And then, press Ctrl D to deselect. Ctrl D para hindi na siya maselect ulit. So, let's see kung kaya natin siyang gawin ngayon sa tubig. Ay, actually hindi. Kasi sumama yung control D ulit natin. Kasi sumama yung ano eh. Let's see kung kaya ba natin. Ay, hindi. Sumasama siya. So, wag na lang. Ay, dito pala. How about the image dito? Ayan. So, Gawin natin ulit yung ginawa natin kanina. Negative 30 natin siya ulit. Ayan. So, para, para bagay yung ibabaw at yung baba, ba? So, next. Sabi naman dito, great job. You'll now be able to uh, make changes to any part of an image without affecting the rest. So, ganun lang pala yung pag-change ng kulay, guys. So, kiklik nyo lang to. Tapos, uh, para, ano kasi siya, smart siya eh. So, ayan, quick selection tool, magic wand tool. So, pwede nyo siyang paglaruan kung ano yung kailangan nyo gamitin. Alright. So, save ulit natin siya. Okay. So, next tutorial na tayo. So, for this tutorial naman, sabi, use a layer mask to add an object to an image. So, magdadagdag tayo ng object naman for this um, part. So, masking layers is a great technique for adding an object to an image by hiding the area around the object. So, hide and reveal part of an image and a mask to a layer to hide part of the layer and reveal the layers below. So, select layer 2. Ayan. This layer contains the photo of the blue pencil. So, ito yung blue pencil. So, kapag, kapag in-uncheck ano natin siya, in-unselect natin siya, mawawala. May kita natin yung first layer na kamay lang yung may kita. So, ito na yung itsura niya ngayon. So, click add layer mask icon. Add layer mask icon. So, ito na siya. This white box next to layer 2 is your mask. It determines what part of the layer is hidden or shown. Masks are crucial when combining images in Photoshop. So, click next. So, edit the mask. Click the mask white uh, the white box on the layer to make edits. Select the brush tool. So, select daw natin siya and then select natin yung brush tool. And then, open the brush settings to change the size and hardiness of the brush tool. The brush size adjusts the size of the area you affect. The hardness adjusts whether or not the edge of your mask fades into the surrounding area. Select the set setting size to around 150 pixel and hardness to 50% and press enter. So, 150 ang pixel and the hardness to 50%. So, this is 150 
for hardness naman, that's going to be 50%. And then, click Enter. And then, open the foreground color picker. Select the, ba uh, select the black region and then click OK. Select daw natin yung black region and then click OK. Okay. Ay, ano ba yun? Click the black region and then click OK. Yun nga, yun nga yung ginawa ko kanina nung unang ginawa ko, di ba? Click the black region. Click the black region. Ah, okay. Sorry, sorry. Yan. Yan. Okay. You set the background color instead of the foreground color. Click for going color black. Top left box to open the color picker. Click the black region. Okay. And then hit okay. Paint around the blue pencil. Bakit parang masyadong malaki? So, ayan. So, binura natin siya. Remember nyo kung ano yung mga tools na ginagamit natin, ha? Ayan. So, click next. Sabi naman, bring back hidden parts. So, change the color to white. So, so ganun lang pala siya, guys. Kung gusto nyo ibalik, kung gusto nyo itago, yung mga kanina. Oops. Ganun lang pala siya, kadali. So, super easy. Di ba? Kung ano yung mga tinago niyong part kanina. Ayan. There are two boxes here. Change the foreground. The top box color is black. Change the top box color to black. Top box color to black. Okay. And then, ganyan ulit. Alright, one moment. And then, click next. Resize and position. Press Ctrl T. And then, click plus drag corner to resize the pencil. And the pencil to reposition. Press enter. Press enter. So, Ctrl T. Ah, select muna natin yung layer. Sorry. And then, Ctrl T. Oops. Wrong. Just Ctrl Z na lang. So, Ctrl T natin. So, lalakihan natin siya at niliitan so ganyan lang naman siya tapos reposition so ganyan 
So, ganun lang kadali mag-edit sa Photoshop pala. So, tanin! So, hindi siya ganun kaganda yung pagkaka-edit since okay lang yan. It's, it's only a tutorial lang naman. So, you can do uh, a perfect image on your end naman. So, resize. Ayan. Click next to continue or press Ctrl Z to try again. Let's just continue. So, congratulations! You have mastered one of the most popular techniques in Photoshop. Next tutorial. So, this is training 4. I don't know why, it, why I'm saving it, but yeah. Save your images. Save your work in formats that suits your needs. PSD, which stands for uh, Photoshop Design, I believe. Um, it's a useful uh, format for uh, saving uh, a master file with all your uh, edits. JPEG is the best format for photos you're planning to post online. PNG is useful for images that contains transparency. So, ito siya. So, this is JPEG. This is PNG. So, click next. So, save your master file as a PSD. In the main menu, go to File. And then, Save As. Type a file name or the fa or for the image, Save As uh, field. You don't have to type any format. So, we can just simply... Um, ano ba maganda pangalan? Um, umbrella. Umbrella. So, in the format drop-down menu, click Photoshop to save it PSD. Photoshop to save in PSD. Yeah, so, naka-select na siya. And then, um, if you have layers in the image, make sure that the layers checkbox is checked. So, isa lang naman siya yung layer dito. So, that's fine. Checkbox is PSD, format, master file. So, ang, ang ibig nyo lang naman sabihin dito, guys, kapag magsa-save kayo as PSD file, uh, make sure na naka-check lahat ng box dito sa layers nyo, okay? Kung hindi nyo kailangan yung layer, that's fine. You can uh, just si simply uncheck that file uh, or unselect that. So, format is useful for master file because it retains layers you can edit in the future. So, leave the embed color profile checkbox. So, colors stay consistent when the image is viewed on the other display. Kick click save so um bella okay and then next save a photo as jpeg naman daw so ah uh, ganun pa rin ganun pa rin yung process um save us and then just select jpeg jpeg ayan so ito pala ayan ayan siya so umbrella save natin siya same files, uh, same yung file name, that's okay kasi magkaiba naman sila ng format. So, next natin. So, ito naman, this is going to be for PNG. So, um, save as pa rin. Tapos, umbrella pa rin yung file name natin. Tapos, select natin yung PNG. And then, save. Um, select the... Ay, hindi pa pala. Meron pa palang pinapagawa dito. Sorry. Sorry, select the one tool down. So, ito yung one. So, click the white background to select it. Ayan. Press delete on your keyboard. Delete. Guys, ha? Yung delete yung right side ng enter. Hindi yung backspace. So, deleted na siya. So, press control dito to select. Tapos. Ganun pa rin. Save us natin, tapos umbrella, um, tapos PNG. Okay. Large file natin. Select next. Save an image with transparency as PNG optional. Go to file, save as format, PNG. Oh, okay na tayo nyan. So, tingnan natin ngayon yung itsura ng sinave natin. So, mag-open tayo. Nang folder. Open natin siya, Adobe Photoshop. So, ito siya ngayon. 
So we have three files of umbrella. So first is the PSD file. The second one is the this is the JPEG. So ito yung itsura ng JPEG ngayon. Ay ko sa inyo, wait lang. So ayan yung itsura ng JPEG. Ayan. So may meron siyang background. So ito naman yung itsura ng PNG. So if you can see wala siyang background. So delete na natin. Ay close na natin, sorry. So, next tutorial. Ito naman. Bring out colors. Use adjustments to play with the colors in this image to make them brighter or more somber. So, click next. So, adjust brightness and contrast. In the main menu, go to image adjustment, brightness, contrast. Tapos, ganun lang naman siya, guys. Ay, meron pala siya. Ay, hindi. Sama. Sabi niya, this is 45 sa brightness. Medyo, medyo mahirap siya kapag yung hover hover so let's ano na lang ayan ganyan na lang ayan so click okay click next add vibrance naman daw in the main menu adjustment and then vibrance adjustment and then vibe tama ba adjustment and then vibe vibrance ayun sabi naman dito vibrance slider to 40 40 naman daw ang vibrance and saturation to 10 plus plus lang naman siya so ayan mas gumanda na siya lumabas yung kulay ng picture so this is training 5 cool and warm image naman so ganun pa rin adjustment and then photo filter Ayan. Sabi naman dito, so, 82 daw. So, sa filter, 82. Sa cooling filter naman yun. Tapos, density to around 35%. Density... Use the style to set density to around 35%. Ah, sorry. Ito pala yung density. 35. So, ginawa natin siyang mukhang cool ng konti lang. So, balikan natin siya kung paano siya gagawin. Adjustment. And then, photo filter. So, pwede nyo siyang paglaruan, guys. Kung ano yung gusto nyo. Um, cooling warming to 85 daw natin ay naka warming na pala siya so gawin natin 0 or 1 so parang walang nagbago ganun lang siya pero yeah it's okay let's continue this is training 6 I don't know why I'm saving it, but yeah, it's okay. So, crop and straighten an image naman. Cropping and straightening can create a clear point of interest and make your image more balanced. So, crop down natin siya. Ayan lang. Click with drag outside the image to rotate. Hero rotate ba natin siya? No, oh, bago yung kulay ng table. So, hindi na natin siya i-adjust. Enter na lang. Actually, nakatagilid pa rin yung table. So, <laughs> select natin siya ulit. Ah, sorry, sorry. Control Z. Ganyan na lang natin siya. 
straight na ba yung table? Straight na, no? So, yeah, let's enter. Okay, okay na yan. So, ganun lang naman. Crop siya, crop. How to do crop. Crop, training, 7. So, next tutorial tayo. Light and dark areas naman. Use shadows, highlights to increase details to correct photos that are backlit or washed out. So, ganun pa din. So, sa image, tapos adjustment, and then go to shadows and highlights. Ayun. 45% daw. Amount. And then, 45% din. Sa highlights. Nice. Enter. I right, click next. So, ganun lang siya. So, image, tapos adjustment, shadow and highlights. So, dagdagan pa natin siya. 45, and then 45 ulit. So, ayun. So, nakaselect na pala siya automatic, guys. So, ito lang yung nag-highlight. Training, 8. I'm saving it because um, I might go back to it in the future, so... Next naman is remove small objects. So, magre-remove tayo ng small objects. The spot healing brush tool is perfect for minor retouches such as removing a smudge or blemish. So, select the spot healing brush tool. So, ito yung spot healing brush. So, actually guys, may mga pangalan siya sa gilid kapag hindi nyo alam yung mga pangalan ng tools. Okay? Tapos, sabi naman dito, you have to change the pixel to 50 and 0 daw to hardness. So, pixie, ah, pixie, 50 sa pixel and then 0 sa hardness. So, buburahin natin to yata. So, ganyan lang pala magbura ng mga memories ng X. <laughs> so, next tutorial. Training 9. So, custom black and white naman. Control how your images can converted into grayscale naman. So, ito, gagawin natin siyang grayscale. So, black and white. Images, go to adjustments, and black and white. So, wala na tayong ginawa. Automatic siya nag black and white. Click OK na lang. So, ganun pala siya. If you go to image, and then you, you select uh, black and white, automatic siya. So, if you want to undo it, just simply control Z. Ayan, di ba? Control Z. Ganun, ganun lang naman. So, image, uh, and then adjustment, and then, what's the name? Black and white. So, ganun. Next! Next tutorial tayo. This is training um, 10. Duplicate small objects and textures. So, magduplicate tayo ngayon. Your goal is to add more flowers to the image, press next. Clone stamp tool naman ang gagamitin daw natin dito. In the left toolbar, select the clone stamp tool. So, ito yung clone stamp tool. Okay? So, open brush settings to change the size and hardiness of the tool. The brush size adjusts how much of an area you can clone. So, 70% daw sa pixel. 70% tapos 0 sa hardiness. Enter. Ah, lucky. Hold the Alt key and click the middle of the bouquet. Alt key and then click. Ayan. 
So, lagay ko tayo dito. Tining! Isa ka, isa pa. Ulit, ulit. Pwede ba yun? Ay, hindi eh. Ay, isang click lang. Okay, okay, okay. Oops, oops. So, control Z. Control Z. Bakit? Okay naman. Huwag na nga. Dadalawahin ko sana eh. Pero, select layer 1 to continue. So, ito. Halt. Ayun. So, ganyan lang siya. Itututok mo muna yung uh, mouse mo. Click mo. Tapos, Alt. Tapos, click mo kung saan mo gusto nilagay. So, ganyan. So, ganyan. Ayun. So, napuno ng flower. So, ganun lang pala siya. Training 11. So, dito naman, select part of an image. When you want to change the uh, part of an image, select that area first. The quick selection tool is one of the simplest of the many selection tool you can use. So, quick selection tool. Naka-select na siya. Okay. Next. Hindi pa wala, sorry. Ito yung quick selection tool. Click plus drag across the sky to select it. Okay. Next. Image and then adjust brightness color. Negative 30. And then 40. Okay, control D to select. Next. Parang tapos na tayo dito. Oo nga, so ayun. Ay, hindi, hindi, hindi. So let's just continue lang. Masking layers in the gray technique to combining multiple images to replace the background of an image. So select the background now by 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 ah uh, begin by selecting the background you wish to replace. Click layer two in the layers panel below to edit it. Select the selection tool. Ayan. Control D daw to deselect. So, adjust low muna natin siya to 30 pixels. Tapos, 100 to hardness. Okay na naman. So, ayan. Click next. Add layer mask icon. Layers panel below. Layers panel. So, nabura siya. So, ganun lang pala siya. Tinuro niya lang kung paano ipakita. Ah, paano, ano, i-remove. Paano mag-remove para ma paano magbura ng memories. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Yeah, i-ano ko na lang. Patong-patong na lang. Ito naman, add a person to an image. Masking layers is a great technique for adding a person to a photo. So, click layer 2 daw. And then, select the selection tool. Tapos, um, adjust natin ulit to 10 pixels. 10 pixels. 
Tapos hardness to 100%. So tama naman. Or with the artist. So. So. Control D to deselect. Kasi lumagpas tayo sa pintuan. At yan nun. Lumalagpas siya sa pintuan. Control D ulit natin. Ayun o. Lumalagpas siya. Ayan mo na nga. So, ulitin natin ulit. Ah, uh, mali, mali. Bakit ganun? Sumasama siya. What if ito lang? Delete. Ah, yun naman pala eh. So, you can click delete guys. Sumasama talaga siya eh. Mabubura pati yung balikat niya eh. So, control din natin. Nga. Sumasama talaga siya. So, ganyan. Okay na yan. Select layer 2 to continue. Then, click next. Ay, meron pa pala ito. So, delete, delete din natin to. Delete. Tapos, ito pa pala. Delete. We already added an image to the insert one. So, ayan. So, ganyan siya. Ganyan lang pala. So, pinakita niya lang kung paano magpatong or paano itanggalin yung ibang part ng image. So, ganyan lang siya. Create a lighting effect. Blend layers to create powerful textures and lighting effects. We've added the photos for you to use. Click the eye icon on the box layer panel below the eye. Layer 3. So, ito. From normal to lighten. Asan yung lighten? Ayun. Next. Set the opacity to 50%. Opacity 50%. Try different blending options on the drop down and the positive values on the for the get the perfect click next. Okay niyan. So ganun lang siya. Lang na lang. Apply a filter. Filters are a great way to apply unique tools for your images. So Ganito lang yung filter. Convert to smart filter. Filter. Convert to smart filter. Enable ready things smart filters. Click next. Filter ulit. Fil Ay, sorry. Filter. Um, stylize. Stylize. 
tapos oil paint oil paint so sabi dito try dragging stylization to around 1.7 1.7% tapos yung cleanliness to 5.5 So, para siyang nag-filter, para kang nag-animate, gano'n. So, ganito lang pala. Nag-animate ng sarili mong picture. Ngayon, alam na natin. Double click where it says all paint. There's a filter layer. So, ganun lang pala siya. How about gawin natin siyang 2.5? So, ganun lang pala guys, mag-animate ng picture. Let's try to add our own picture now. So, this is my picture. Pasen Pagpasensya nyo na. So, copy. Ayan. Na, maliit lang talaga yung size niya. So, oh yan, yan. So, try natin yung filter. Stylize. Oil paint. Let's try to 10. <laughs> so, very nice. Though. Oil paint. Let's try to cleanliness down to 1. Scale to 1. Bristle details to 1. Hi, sir. That's nice. So, whole project. Click OK. So, nag next tayo. Ay, hindi na natin siya mabalik. So, control si tayo. Balik, balik, balik. In the layers panel. hindi na natin na siya mabalikan. So, let's just go ahead and continue. Filter, convert to smart filter. So, ito yung kanina, inulit lang natin para mabalikan natin siya. Para makontinue natin siya. Tapos, stylize. Oil paint. 1.7 daw. Ang, stylize, ang stylization. And ang cleanliness is to 5.5. Choose colors for painting naman daw. Choose your color. Select the eyedropper tool. And then, click on the part of the image to show a color. Ito. Ito, ito, ito. Ah, para makita yung kulay niya. So, nice.
Hmm. So, matadagdagan siya. Depende sa makipili natin kulay. Ah, nice. Okay. Ganun lang pala siya. So, ganun yun para sa mga kulay. Dito lang, guys. So, ito yung isa pala to sa mga importante na, ano, na, na option para, kunyari, mapaparehas natin yung kulay. So, kapag nag-merge tayo ng two pictures, gusto nyo parehas yung kulay. So, make sure to select this eyedropper tool para mapili yung color na gusto. Tapos, lalabas siya dito. Paint with the brush tool naman daw. You have many painting options to choose from. Let's look from the basics of painting with the brush tool. Select the brush tool. Tapos change daw natin from 250 to 60. 60 pixels. And then 30% ang hardiness. <laughs> so, ganyan mo. Pinaglaruan. Tinakpan yung fish. Dark gray? Ito ba yan? Dark gray. Click the dark gray color on the fish to make it the foregoing color. So, burin nga natin yung mga pinagagawa natin. Ayan. Okay. Fish here. So, ayun nang yung basics ng Photoshop. So, natapos natin siya. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope na may natutunan kayo. So, if you want to have a Photoshop na uh, Adobe 2019, um, just go to my website, wearevirtualkings.com. So, may details dyan ng store natin. So, pupuntahan ko for you guys. So, just go to wearevirtualkings.com. And then, you can go to the store. And then, as of now, this is only a premium account. So, I ha I don't have the option where you can buy this uh, on my site. So, all you need to do, guys, is... Uh, ito yun siya. It's only 350 pesos. So, if you have any questions, kung paano siya, or kung gusto niyo siyang makuha, um, just send me your payment. How will you be able to send the payment? So, you can send it here. Uh, sa BPI, Gcash, or money remittance. And then, once na nakapag-process kayo ng payment, 
Uh, puntahan nyo lang, nyo lang yung website ko, ay yung Facebook page ko na facebook.com slash wearevirtualkings. And then, uh, message me your receipt. And then, um, I'm sorry, this is my option kasi I'm the the page owner. So, um, as, as I'm saying, so after you process the payment, just send me the receipt. And then, sabihin mo sa akin kung ano yung order mo. So, that's it. I hope you have uh, learned something from the video. If you like it, hit the like button. If you don't like it, smash the dislike button. But absolutely, please subscribe for more free training videos. See you in the future. Goodbye.